Well, there's a saying getting a lot of play around Omaha. We don't coast, but we will toast Mike. <laughs> the toast Nebraska wine festival returns May 1st. About 2000 people attended this You're thing last so year. So witty. All right, Jim Ballard's got the scoop and Nicole Heck Jurenic is from Heartland Big Brothers Big Sisters. Good to see it's you. Nice to have you back. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Thank so how you. this uh, annual festival get started? You know, a group of us in the wine industry are sitting around. We thought, you know what? We need to have a big festival mm -hmm. that focuses on Nebraska wine. There's a lot of other festivals around the mm -hmm. state, but nothing that we put on as an industry. Yeah. And so we uh, decided to approach Blurry uh, Parties in, in Lincoln. They helped mm -hmm. us put everything together, and last year was our first festival. At Mahoney? It, yeah, cool we, venue. We, we found a great venue <laughs> at Mahoney State Park, lots of space. It's a, it's a true festival feeling, I mean, with That's all great. the wineries there and the vendors. And, and the lodging on site, well, so everybody can enjoy lodging. it. You not bet. worry. Well, how many wineries? There's going to be 19 wineries this year with over 120 wines to choose from. Color me ignorant, but I didn't know there were 19 wineries in the state of Nebraska. There's actually oh, about 31 There's wineries 31. in the state. They're all so over. Well, I guess I just thought about some of the ones that are in our neck of the woods, and so maybe I would have guessed 10. I don't know. I didn't oh, realize our wine industry was thriving. Taken off the last mm -hmm. five, 10 years. It so. really has. Um, okay, May 2nd. Right? As May 1st and 2nd. May 1st mm -hmm. and 2nd has a special day. Uh, I thought the 2nd has a designation. But yes, yes, it's Nebraska Wine Day so on May 2nd. On the second, we had that's a proclamation Sunday, right? uh, Saturday. That's a sa okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get this right at some and, uh, point. He hasn't the had show. any wine yet, Jim. Imagine. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. Let's start pouring some wine. No, the governor declared May 2nd Nebraska Wine Day, mm -hmm. and we're going to actually have the proclamation uh, celebration at the at Toast Nebraska oh, this year. That's cool. Okay. We want to talk to you, Nicole, in a second. Yes. But first, sure. the wine, Absolutely. what did you bring? Yes, yeah. we brought a bottle of Nebraska Red mm -hmm. and also we'll Edelweiss because I know that you guys love this Edelweiss we do. wine. We do. And James Arthur, when I think of vineyards, that's one of the first that I was introduced mm -hmm. to. You've been around for what? 20 um, I'll be 18 years, 18 years this year. Years. We were number two out of the 31 wines. Mm -hmm. We're number two, and it's been awesome to watch this industry grow and to yeah. watch all these I other I love these blue bottles. bottles so. That's great. All right, while you are <laughs> opening one of those for us to enjoy, Nicole, let's talk about Heartland yes. Big Brothers, sure. Big Sisters. Great. When a, a group puts together an event and then they choose you to raise money for, how do you apply those funds? Well, thank you for asking that question. Mm -hmm. We actually apply the funds to help our organization recruit, screen, and train all of the volunteers volunteer mentors that we have that come into our program, mm -hmm. as well as we supervise every big and little, that's what we call them, big yeah. and little match, uh, that's a part of our program. And so we have youth development professionals who do that, and then obviously getting the word out about Big Brothers Big Sisters. Mm -hmm. um, so all of the funds that are contributed through Toast Nebraska will go back right into our program, um, and we just feel so thrilled and honored to be a part of the event and mm -hmm. to have been chosen. We work with um, Jim in another event that he does at his uh, winery, so we are just very lucky to be yeah. a part of it. It seems like a lot of these mentor organizations such as yours, it seems like there's a pretty big need. Every time we mm -hmm. talk to them, what are you guys seeing right yes. now? You know, we always have a need for Big Brother volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, volunteers in general are just a huge part of our organization. Obviously, we couldn't do what we do without those uh, big brothers and big sisters mm -hmm. that step up and say, I'd like to, you know, change a child's life for the better. Um, and then also, obviously, fundraising is a big piece of that. And that's where, you know, uh, not everyone has the time to become a big brother or a mm -hmm. big sister. And that's a big commitment for a lot of folks. But, you know, if people could come out to Toast Nebraska, have a great time, and support big brothers, big sisters, and, and give their gifts uh, that way, mm -hmm. we appreciate it and absolutely put it to good use. We'll show you more information about Nicole's Thank organization you. here in a minute. Let's uh, pour a glass. Yes, Jim. Yeah, you bet. Let's do it. Which feel, one did you open? I feel this bad, is Nebraska. Nicole, I don't have a glass for you. No, that's fine. That's good. This is <laughs> Nebraska Red. A table wine? This is a red table mm -hmm. wine. It's a blend that we put together. It's our most popular wine, mm -hmm. uh, dry red wine that we have. Mm -hmm. um, now you got, did you smell it, Mike? Mm -hmm. you, okay, and you swirled. I did the whole thing, Jim. I want to make sure to Jim, that you're doing this I'm not all a rookie. correctly. <laughs> uh, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Fantastic. Oh, that is and, nice. And, um, well, it's lighter than some reds, you know, but that's the blend, I suppose. It is. It's a medium body, mm -hmm. dry red, and a lot of the grapes that we grow here in Nebraska and a lot of the wineries, well, um, you know, we can't create those Here's real... the problem. We can't put Edelweiss on top of this blend. That's not going to oh, work. Yes, we can. There. <laughs> yes, right. we can. I'll help you out with that. Uh, we have a minute left. Let's show you some information about Toast Nebraska. What do our viewers get when they buy a ticket? What does that entitle them to? You know, they get a great experience uh, with Nebraska wines. They get to try unlimited wines. Mm -hmm. uh, there's live music. There's different uh, uh, scheduled music throughout the day. And, mm -hmm. There's demonstrations. There's food vendors. Uh, you know, it's not just about the wine in Nebraska. It's about yeah. the experience. And this is a great 
premier mm -hmm. wine experience. And that website has a lot of the information that you just mentioned. It details it. I was taken aback by just how much is planned. <laughs> and then in terms of Heartland Big Brothers Big Sisters, uh, the website is hbbbs.org uh, based out of link and the numbers there in case you would like to become a big or you would like to help out uh, through fundraising or any other needs the organization has. And just as I did, you can sample every yeah. wine on hand. <laughs> <laughs> right. he did. We, we were looking at something else. Mike's already had some. I got it. Nicole, thank Great you. Nicole, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you.